Hi guys, it's Ray here from City Fan TV and once again we're joined by Audrey. How are you doing tonight, Audrey? Yeah, good, thanks. You? Um, hey, guess what? I'm doing really well because tonight, not only did we learn that uh, Kevin De Bruyne won uh, the player, uh, PFA Player of the Year for the men's uh, team, we also find out that Lauren Hemp won the Young Player uh, of the Season um, for the women's game and that's the second time she's won it. So at 20 years old, she got the world at her feet, and how do you feel about her winning it again? Yeah, it, I mean, it's amazing. It's totally deserved. Um, we signed her two years ago, um, and yeah, I mean, City are fantastic at signing and bringing through young players on the women's team, and Lauren is one of those. I remember, I think the first game she played for us, because obviously she's brought gradually into the team. You don't want to overplay a young player, but her technical skills absolutely outstanding. You know, her ability on the ball was amazing from the very first game that she played. And obviously from then, she's just gone from she's just gone from strength to strength and become a regular part of the squad at just 1920. It's, yeah, it's phenomenal. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I saw her uh, properly for the first time last season because I went to several games. Whereas the other season before, you might see bits of highlights, but I was going to games. And it was like, when you're watching it, it's just like, pass the ball to Lauren, pass the ball to Lauren, because she can do amazing things. And when you see, you know, when we've got Steph Hyatt and pinging the ball out like, to Lauren on the wing and Lauren controlling it, uh, it, you know, controlling it dead, basically, and then just taking people on, it's just awesome to see. Yeah, like you say, and her ball skills are are incredible. And she, she really takes players on with, you know, and a lot of confidence as well for such a young player. Um, you know, she just keeps moving and, and takes it through and scores um, or makes goals for others. She's, yeah. Yeah, she's I, think she, I think stats-wise, she's played um, in the two seasons at City, she played 10 games, 10 league games each season. But the, 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 the women's team don't play that many games. I mean, there are 12 uh, clubs in the FA Women's Super League, so you're only going to play 22 games. And obviously last season was curtailed as well. Um, she scores a fair share of goals, I think four or five goals in the league. Uh, which um, you know, which is not too bad, and obviously sets um, goals up as well. But she also, it's just, she's just so dangerous with with her um, with the range of skills. Yeah, I mean, when, whenever she gets the ball anywhere near the near the near the penalty area, you think something exciting is going to happen, and a lot of the time, a lot of the time, it does. And yeah, you know, I'm sure that as 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 we go on, as she matures as a player, she's going to be more and more. Um, integral part of that team, get more and more appearances. You know, obviously, uh, you know it's important not to overplay young players. So you've got to let them, got to let them grow. Um, but yeah, just really looking forward. It's going to be really exciting seeing her and some of the other younger players coming through and really becoming a real integral part of the team. Um, yeah, yeah. like I say, whenever she gets the ball in anywhere near the, anywhere in the opposition half, you're like, oh, something could happen. <laughs> But, but you, I mean, I'm, la I'm laughing, but you're right because you know when, when there are certain players um, in football, whether they're men or women, uh, when they get the ball, you sit up and take notice. You want to see them get the ball and, and see what they can what they can do because they are that exciting. Uh, and and, um, and and Lauren is certainly one of those. I mean, what would you say to to fans who, when we are allowed to go back to games, and, and they're thinking about it? Should I? Shouldn't I? You know, and when it's safe to do so about coming to watch the women's team because it's so exciting, especially with, you know, people like Lauren there and, and Chloe Kelly. Yeah, I mean, women's football, it, you know, sometimes it gets a bad press, but I don't know why, because the, the, the level that City and some of the other teams in the league play at is amazing. The WSL um, is now become probably close to or becoming the best league in the world. Um, because we've got so many high quality competitive teams that have their clubs investing in them. Um, and City are amazing. They, they play really high quality football. Um, so I would, I would say just come, come for the football because it's, a, it's really good. And we've got these outstanding international players. I mean, the most recent England squad that was called up today has got 10 City players in. So, you know, we've, we've got like uh, internationals. Uh, we've got England internationals. We've got internationals from other countries we've got Scottish internationals American internationals Canadian internationals you know the top top echelon of women's football um so come for the quality of the game but also come because it's really good fun it's a really nice atmosphere um really friendly 
Um, if anybody's got any, uh, you know, sometimes people are concerned about taking the kids to big, to, uh, big games in the big house over the road, which I don't, you know, I've never had, experienced any problems there, but you know, it's a really lovely atmosphere. There's loads of kids and there's loads of families. Um, the um, whole idea of WSL family friendly and the, the, the supporters club very much supports that. None of our, none of our songs or chants have any swearing in, you know, <laughs> we don't, you know, we have, we have banter with the opposition fans, obviously, because that's part of the game, but there's no nastiness, even when we play the horrible red people. So um, <laughs> we, um, it's, it's a really nice atmosphere. It's one of the things I love about, about women going to the women's, women's football, the fans sit mixed together, you know, it's, it, it's it's really good it's really it's really enjoyable um and I, and i've known i know people i mean i don't follow the men's game as closely but i know people who do who've, who've sort of become a bit disenchanted with the men's game with some of the cynical aspects of it and you know um and actually rediscover their love of the game of football by watching women's football you don't get you get very little arguing with the ref you get very little um amateur dramatics when people get tackled you know, you just get people playing the game um, at really high standard and play, and because they love it. Yeah. I mean, to finish off, obviously, we, we, we mainly talk about Lauren. She's injured at the moment, but, you know, fingers crossed she'll be, be back soon. She got that uh, uh, slight hamstring injury yeah. against um, Chelsea in the Community Shield. Where do you think she can go this season? Uh, you know, it feels like every season's a big season because this, this City team, the City squad, it's, it's huge now. It's got such strength in depth where do you think Lauren can take her game this season I mean I think she's only going to get better and better she's going to have the um, influence the role models the advice from the more experienced professionals but she's also going to have the edge that all of our players are going to have now of having to compete for a place you know even Lauren as you know PFA young player of the year she doesn't walk she doesn't walk into a walk into a place in the squad every in in the t- in, in the team um, every every week. So she's going to have to fight for that place, and that's only going to that's only going to strengthen the game. But I'm sure that you know, because City are very good at bringing through players and um, at, at younger younger players in the women's team and making them part of the team. So I'm sure that she's like inten- integral part of the the, the management's plans. But I think that the the new signings. Are only going to be a positive impact that competition for place. Yeah, fantastic. Well, uh, as I said, we hope Lauren uh, comes back from injury quickly um, and uh, gets back on that pitch doing what she does best. Um, you know, terrorising defences, scoring goals, yeah. and setting up goals. Uh, once again, Audrey, uh, it's fantastic uh, to have you on. I'll, I'll say this every time: it's fantastic to have your uh, bubbly effervescence and, <laughs> you know, it is, and, your, and your knowledge of of the women's game. It is absolutely fantastic for the viewers and I hope they uh, have enjoyed your uh, little chat about Lauren Hemp. Thank you. See you. You're most welcome. See you.